Okay, this is your K1 Jacobson series. Um, this right here is a 12 space uh, road case. It has four inch casters, locking wheels. It has the lids. I put labels on them for you. They basically lock into place on the side as you see right here. It also has this so that you could actually put a lock on it and lock it and so forth. Now as far as the equipment, on your top is your power strip bar. Then I also added this power strip due to the limited space for the additional power plugs. And then these are the, this is a pigtail due to the size of this. Uh, depending on how the system's built, it may not be like that all the time. The secondary item right here is your recorder slash digital player. You have in and out on the back. You'll see that it's plugged into the in and then it goes straight to the back of the amplifier, the pre-out. So that's where this is plugged in. Then you have your mix. This is for the left and right side of this player that goes down into your auxiliary. Then you have the next piece right here which is your processor that's your in and out your in and out right here so that's where the processors plugged in then you have your first set of wireless mics you have mic one mic two right here you have your player RCA cable that will go out to your TV you'll see that's labeled then you'll have your red and white RCA's in the player itself and it's located in the DVD then you also have, for your just in case you ever want to hook up a laptop, that's plugged into your VCD station. So in the back here, all your inputs, DVD belongs to your karaoke player, VCD belongs to if you want to hook up an iPod or laptop with that cable, then the auxiliary is when you want to utilize playing back your uh, digital recorder in the front. Then right below this tray here is the second set of mics. You'll notice that this is the hard drive. What you do is when you open it up, you take the hard drive, just slip it right in here. You'll see that you have your, your power cable. So you just basically line it up. USB. Then just slide it in there. You'll notice that it's already hooked up to the player. So the only thing you do when you want to use the drive is you're turning this on and off. You always turn this drive on last after the system's up, the player's running. Right below here, this is one set of the microphone's power. That's the second set right here. Here's your two speaker cables, left and right. I zip tied them to go off left and right. So you'll basically, you'll take out these. It'll probably be rolled up and sitting in here. Same thing with all these cables. They'll be rolled up and sitting in there. You have your main power cable, that'll be in there as well. And then you also have right here in the processor, this is the subwoofer out. And all you do is you just take this cable right here and you go right into the back of this sub right here and there's even a sticker right there for you. You have the LED fans this will help keep it cool and so forth. You'll notice on the back here I have the auto shut off and the reason why it's like that is because you have to manually switch the channels in the front in order to switch from the recorder to the other components and so forth. Now as far as the speaker you just have a simple twist on for the back of the speaker. Put it in, twist it, lock it in place, and your speaker's set up. As far as the subwoofer, looking at the back of that, I have it on max volume, although you could put it down because this is actually pretty powerful. You'll notice that the ground is in you'll notice that the phase is pushed in so you won't have to touch that and all you're doing is plugging right in here and you're controlling the sub from the front and that's pretty much it as far as the the basic hookup for this system this is the end of part one